Did I say Moe's yesterday? Because I meant El Cerro. Moe's is too far away. I got me some fajitas. I don't even know what's in that. Um, one of the guy asked me what I wanted to order. I said, what's your favorite thing? He said, these fajitas. And I was like, give me those. So I got chicken, shrimp, and steak, I believe. And then there's some peppers, uh, all the fixings. What do you got, Mel? Chimichanga. Chimichanga. You have chimichanga as well? Okay. One of each. One of each. And cheese enchiladas. Cheese enchiladas. That smells so good, I'm liable to start eating on yours. Well, there's a bunch of meat in there, so if it smells good, Hi, you, you, might, smells good. you might need to de defect. <laughs> also, hello everyone, and welcome to Monday. Um, it's actually been kind of an interesting day. It's been a very full day. It's actually already evening, as you can see. And you're probably saying, well, it's, it's day a thousand. Shouldn't it be filled with rainbows and ponies and bazookas and bubble gum? Well, maybe, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure what you were expecting. But you have to realize that day 1,000 is just a number. Um, I started the day off by going to the dentist because I had to get uh, teeth cleaning. Turns out I have a cavity, which unfortunately is actually pretty common for me because I am not very good at taking care of my teeth. But uh, Mal had to uh, go to her school orientation open house thingy. So that's where she's been. And uh, she just finished up. It's late and we're on our way back home. Now in between that, uh, I spent a lot of time with my family today. I got a little work done, but um, a, a few good things happened. Uh, for one, I did another deal on Craigslist. Got some pretty cool stuff I'm gonna show you when we get back home. And uh, I also went into the Salvation Army and I found a Ween CD that was actually, it looks brand new, and I got it for 50 cents. It was the, uh, the, the country album. For those who are interested, uh, I'm, I'm interested in acquiring more of Ween's music, and they had a Ween album in there, and it was 50 cents, and it's a pretty good deal. But uh, now we are on our way back home, and uh, once we get there, I'll show you what I got on Craigslist because I'm pretty stoked about it. Uh, it was a pretty good deal. But Mal, how was your night? Because I know that you were it's long, long, but you've got to meet some of the kids, though. I don't know if any of them were my students. That's true, but you, but you had fun regardless. Yeah. Sort of. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, uh, let's get back home and uh, we'll wrap up day 1000 because you're going to need extra time to watch the bonus video. Anyway. <clears throat> okay, so we're back at the apartment and I promised you guys I would show you what I got at Craigslist today. So here's what I got. Um, the guy was offering all of this for 30 bucks. Originally, I had sent him a message and uh, I was like, hey, I just want the games. Um, uh, what games do you have? And how much would you sell them for? He said he'd sell the games for five dollars a piece, or the or everything for thirty. And I was coming up with a few of the games I wanted, and I was like, honestly, I'm gonna offer him like twenty dollars for the games, and instead, why don't I just pay thirty and get everything? So I got everything, and what it was was seven Nintendo 64 games, a Nintendo 64 with the the cables, and three controllers. Turns out there were four controllers. Although to be fair, this one is suffering from. Uh, the wiggle joystick. Do you guys know if there's any way to fix that? I've never looked into that before, but uh, this one is going to be pretty useless because, you know, once they get that loose, it's not worth it. However, these are perfect. They're perfect. In fact, um, I don't need the N64 or the controllers, but instead of trading the controllers in, um, I may actually keep the controllers because I don't think even some of my controllers are in that good of a condition. And also we have the, the Super Pad. As for game titles, they're not super, you know, high dollar titles, uh, but that's okay. South Park, GoldenEye, Vigilante 8, FIFA 99, uh, NFL Blitz, Quake, and uh, Y... Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> YLA Country Club? I don't know. The, uh, the only game I had out of all of this is GoldenEye, which is cool because GoldenEye is actually worth the most, so if I wanted to trade it in, it'll bring in the most uh, trade-in value. And uh, these I can all keep. This one is a, is a little wrecked, but honestly, um, I can probably work with it and get that mostly cleaned all up. But the N64 works, and the controllers are in good shape. So for $30, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Anyway, I've just been keeping my eye on uh, on Craigslist, and it's been paying off. I mean, I think now it's, it's almost to the point where, like, once a week, I'm getting, you know, finding somebody that I, I want something off of, and... I mean, it's pretty good stuff, and, and the deals are good. Remember, like, less than a week ago, I picked up Silent Hill and Twin Snakes for GameCube, and it was, like, 25 bucks, which, you know, can't complain. Getting good deals. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I know it's kind of a short one, but uh, if you want to start a discussion, talk about some cool stuff you got off Craigslist, because I've managed to get 
cool stuff just repeatedly. And if you if you haven't checked Craigslist, go to Craigslist for your area and watch it. I mean, check it out. If you can check it out every day, do that. I mean, I check it several times a day. Um, or just, you know, once a week to see what's on there. Um, you might surprise yourself. Not even just for video games, but for other stuff too. Because there's some really cool stuff on there. Some people have jacked up prices, true. But a lot of the times you'll find that people are just trying to get rid of something. They need the money. And they're willing to sell it cheap. So give me your Craigslist stories. And I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? But for now, we should meet back in like several seconds. Go watch the Day 1000 bonus video. It is out. Um, I apologize if your clip is not in there. Uh, it was really, really long. I, I just needed it cut down because it was really freaking long, so I cut some stuff out. So if your clip was in there, it doesn't mean that your clip sucked, necessarily. Um, in fact, all of the clips that people mentioned were in there at some point. Um, pretty much all of them. And I just started to cut them out because of time reasons. So if your clip is not in there, it's not because it wasn't good. It's just because maybe it didn't work with the flow of the rest of it or something like that. So don't feel like I hated your clip because pretty much 99% of them were in there. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Go watch the bonus video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.